Okay, in this video we're going to attempt to take out the Mind Flare Magus. Now, as you can see, he has a lot of things in his room with him, and he's guarded by all of them. They themselves are uh, not too scary. Um, what is this? It's a confusion. So each one of them can confuse 15% uh, of the time, which is kind of scary, I guess. But uh, the Magus himself, again, he's guarded by how many ads here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ads. Wow. He's going to drop a couple, I think, Vortex Staff is the only thing I'm interested in here. But also, I just want to see if I can do it. He does do a room spell. Only 4% chance there. Not too worried about that. The key thing here is I want my Druid to be nuking. So where is my Druid? Right here. Druid should be set up to nuke. So auto nuke is on for manual and auto. It is going to do it with at least three enemies. So without further ado, here goes nothing. Being stunned is bad. Okay. Okay, good. Got them all. The Magus left. He's already critically wounded. Alright, there we go. Dropped everything I needed. Let's see these. Uh, so I got a 149. Sorry, 179 there. They only have 185 health, so it's just barely not enough. But once you get through them, I can get the Barb Circlet. Barb Circlet is one of the ones that gives you nothing. Oh, it, it negates the fear. That's a nice reason to have it. There's only one in the game and it negates fear. So yeah, Phoenix Terror is one of the things it negates, which is cool. And then Severed Purple Tentacle. How's that? Doesn't do anything it looks like. Weird. Wonder if it ever did anything. And then the Vortex Staff. That is Vorpal Sword. It's a level 40 restrict, mage only, pretty decent weapon, limit 2. So, uh, yeah, definitely keep this on hand. Alright, that was a Mind Flare Magus, first try. Thanks for watching.